Hey, it's Rob Long, and I thought I would show you some of the resources available on the ELO site for young children. So I went and did some exploring, and I want to showcase two things. So I'm going into primary, and I'm going to go into the grade one blended learning. And I don't know how many people use this in the younger years in the primary, but it was interesting. So I'm going to go into activities and I'm going to take a look here at what they have. So basically we can go into carousel and there's two things. So I'm going to carousel. Okay, there's a few clicks to do all of this. So anyway, that's one thing. But what was interesting when I went in was they have media literacy. And so I was going to showcase the grade one and two media literacy because we did some focus on that in the course. And I thought, wow, media literacy, and they have a four grade one and two. That's great. So I'm going to go into advertising. And that comes up. We can load the audio. Now, this is grade one. So. I just want people to think in, um, about teaching grade one our non-readers, typically, or are just learning to read. So it doesn't say choose start. I'm going to choose start. Now, if you don't move, this plays. But if you move, it's it stops the playing of the person talking and you have to jump back in and unless you're clever enough grade one it will be a stretch you need to come down here and replay to get it to go again as soon as you roll off it goes into this area and you can explore so that's kind of fun for kids to explore but that's great but now you have to use a typed answer in grade one again. They are not keyboard ready usually in grade one. So this is difficult. And you can't even go to the next thing to explore because there's no other button unless you get this right. So I'm going to mistype it like that. Buys. Okay, because who knows? I'm in grade one. Check. No. No clues. Okay, boy. This would be super frustrating, I gotta say, if you're a little guy. So I check it now and I got the right answer. So I go into the next one. And I. And you have to get the answer. And you would have had to have heard the whole thing from before. I'm gonna put girls. Check. No. Uh, teenage girls? No, that doesn't fit. Ah! <laughs> okay, failed. I haven't, I don't even know what the answer is. But I can't move forward because I got it wrong. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, let's bow to this one. Concept is great. Delivery. So let's check grade two. And I'm only going to do two grades because um, I'm sure you're bored to death already. Activities. Slightly different presentation than the last one. Let's go into carousel again. And they have, wait, let me open it. <laughs> they have, again, media literacy, which is awesome. And we're going to go into advertising. We only have one choice. And it loads up. And we may be able to read in grade two. Okay, this one you can't interrupt. I'm going to click next. Of course, I can't stop it to talk, but it's good and it plays and you can't interrupt it so you learn.
Okay, so it goes through. You can't really do anything to it. It'd be nice if there was a pause kind of or something like our YouTube video. But the content is good and they talk about advertisements and things. This is great. So I've introduced this because um, it's great to have content in in these areas in the learning resources. Um, the problem is one, it was from 2013 and two, uh, I I question, actually, its validity for these grade levels, unfortunately. Um, I was excited to see the content, and then I was disappointed, I have to say, in the delivery of the content. So that is my video, and I'm going to go back into a video and stop.